What's going on, everybody? This is Chris with Big Chris Cooks. And uh, it's Super Bowl Sunday. Um, this doesn't really have much to do with that, but um, started frying some bacon and some sausage this morning, and um, it was smelling pretty good. And I thought, you know, um, I learned to make sausage gravy, you know, with, uh, with milk and water so it's not too sweet uh, from my grandma. And um, was seeing my great aunt yesterday, as my grandma's sister, made me think about that, and I thought to myself, you know, let's make some sausage gravy this morning since you fried up some sausage. So, here we go. We're going to do this up in a cast iron skillet. Ready? All right, so here we go. I've got uh, about two tablespoons of sausage grease in there. I left all of the um, bits in the bottom. The pan's pretty hot right now, but not too, too hot. I'm going to sprinkle the flour in. because we've got to cook the um, flour taste out. So you're going to want to brown this. We're going to blend all this flour in. So essentially right now what we're doing is making a roux. You've heard that talked about many times if you've ever listened to anybody talk about making a gumbo or anything like that down in New Orleans. So you can see that's thickening up already. So we had two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of sausage grease. And that was hot sausage. And I used a small company called Nieces. You can use whatever you like. It doesn't have to be hot. It can be mild country sausage. You could use the same technique with any sausage, really. But this is for breakfast. Because I like my sausage with sausage gravy and biscuits. So, gonna be making some biscuits too. From scratch, no biscuit mix crap with buttermilk. So, we're gonna cook this for a little bit. It's starting to smell a little bit nutty already, which is good. That's what you want it to do. You don't want it to smell burnt. And when you're doing a roux for like a gumbo or something, you're gonna do this for a long time at a low temp like this. Um, I'm not going to do it that long as I'm not trying to make this brown so much as this is going to be a cream style gravy. <clears throat> like if you were in Texas, you'd put this on uh, chicken fried steak. And you can see that's also letting me get all those little bits up off the bottom of the pan. Which uh, you wouldn't think that the flour would do that, but it does kind of just deglaze it a bit. All right, so there you go. In this cup here, I've got, well, that's milliliters. Milliliters. We'll get it around over here on this side. It's about a cup and a half, okay? And I put three quarters of a cup of, or was it, oh, excuse me, it was a half a cup of half and half, and then I filled that up with filtered water. Um, because again, if you use just half and half or heavy, you know, whole milk, it will be a little sweet. If you like it sweeter, do that. I don't like mine that sweet. Now. She's starting to want to bubble a little bit, which I actually like that, but you have to really stand over it if you're going to do that. Um, you'll see this will start to get liquidy again. And uh, once we've gotten to that point, then I'm, you know, for sure the flour is cooked all we'll need it to. You can see how it'll start to do this. These little bubbly bits will start to happen here. That's what you want, but when that starts happening, you got to keep your eye on this thing. Because if you don't, it'll start to burn the flour, and you don't want that. Because that will not taste good. As Alton Brown would say, that would not be good eats. And we ain't trying to pull that off. We want good eats. All right, so I'm going to pull this off the heat because it's really, I'm going to leave it right here. Don't, don't go crazy over there, producer lady, Tanya. I'm going to do this just because you can see a lot of people would be very afraid to do this because of getting clumps. I'm going to turn the heat down and you just want to add a little bit at a time and keep blending that. This goes against the, what anybody would tell you to do, by the way. But, oh my God, that gravy is going to be lumpy. I think you'll see it won't be. but you gotta cool it down slowly. If you just pour it all in there at once and don't keep blending it, you will have lumpy gravy. And that's no bueno. 
Not good eats. Mm -hmm. It does take a little more time doing it this way, but I've only got my one camera operating right now. So I want to do all this one thing, and this is in a cast iron skillet, as you can see. Do not want to do this in a non-stick and be running your fork on the bottom like this, even though this is technically a trident. Don't hold that against me. I do know it's a trident. Alright, you can see here, it looks lumpy. Oh my god, Chris, are you lying to us? Does this boy know what he's doing? He don't know jack! Yes, he does. Patience, folks, patience. Love and faith. We all need more of that. I don't know what faith in, <laughs> but something. I got faith that this gravy ain't gonna be lumpy, I can tell you that. Cause this ain't my uh, first time. My producer's telling me to have faith in yourself. And that's Tanya, by the way, my wife. No lumps. Except from the bits of little stuff in the bottom. All right. We need to salt and pepper this. Maybe a quarter teaspoon, maybe a half a teaspoon of salt. Black pepper to taste. I like a lot of pepper. You can add more salt later, more pepper later if you need to. Whatever it takes to make it taste right to you. You can add even if you wanted to. If you wanted, you know, you could add a little bit of rub sage, if you'd like a lot of sage in your sausage or in your gravy. You can also put this if you're doing like turkey gravy or something, because, um, you know, sage is pretty, you know, it's stuffing. So, anyway, just a touch of that, just a, and why not, right? And if you wanted it smoky, you could go crazy with this. You could put just a little pinch of smoked paprika, and that'll add some smoke flavor to it. You can take this wherever you want it to go. Okay, and that looks thin right now, I know. But now that we have all the lumps out and everything, we smoothed it out because we kept it, you know, we never stopped stirring. Now we turn our heat back up and let this simmer till you get the consistency and thickness that you like on your biscuits. And if you want, you can crumble up some of the uh, sausage in it at the end. You can do it now, even if you wanted. But again, you'll let this simmer. Let it simmer over medium heat for about 10, 15 minutes. However long it takes for it to uh, thicken up, like I said, to where you want it. If it gets too thick, you can add a little bit more milk or water. Just make sure you're stirring it the whole time. And, um, yeah, that's all it takes to make homemade gravy, folks. It's not that hard, and I think you'll find it's delicious. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification button, and uh, we'll talk to you all soon.